Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue Review. Today, I'm doing rabbit while making to a stew. I know what you're saying. Oh, poor little bunnies. No, I'm, look, this isn't the kind of rabbit that little Susie has in her in her cage and it's drinking out of a little water bottle. It's not that kind of rabbit. This is like a wild rabbit, like one of those brown wild rabbits that they mate more and, and they have more babies than rats. And, and you run over them with your car and they're all over the place, you hide in your bushes. They're real annoying, they're a pest. They need to be eaten, they need to be eliminated. So I'm doing the world a favor and I'm eliminating a rabbit. I got this uh, rabbit at my local grocery store Publix. It was like a special order. They had like they had a special, and, and it was like the last one. This is one pound of rabbit. I was looking for two pounds, so I'm gonna uh, make a nice stew with some vegetables. I'm going to do this on the Weber kettle. I'm going to do it inside of my Camp Chef Dutch oven. So anyhow, let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm, I'm using, but I'm not going to actually do a video of while I'm cutting everything up because this is gonna be, uh, there's a lot I gotta show you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got some uh, salt, pepper, garlic, also known as SPG, but I'm gonna be adding some rosemary to this. Rabbit goes real good with some rosemary. No, so does, um, but you don't wanna use a whole lot of rosemary because rosemary is a pretty potent. So probably gonna use maybe half a teaspoon there, get it stirred up. Now this uh, salt, pepper, garlic here, this is one cup of some coarse uh, or kosher salt. It's half a cup of black pepper, two tablespoons of grainy garlic, and I just put that rosemary in there. But however, I j it's a little bit smaller amount than what it usually is because I've been using it. Let's chop this up, it's the basil. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be showing y'all chopping stuff up. Okay, so that's to the side. What I have here, because all rabbits love carrots. So we got two, got two carrots. I got three things of uh, celery. Got one large onion, one white onion. I have uh, some baby red potatoes. I'm gonna be cutting these down. I'll be cubing these up into like fours. Uh, this year I'll probably cut down probably more than that because it look kind of big. Like that small, I'll probably just cut into fours. I've got some thyme. Got some thyme here. I have some chicken broth and I have some oil. And then inside I have the butter because I'm gonna bring the butter out right when I start to sear the uh, the rabbit off. Now, with the rabbit, this is all we're gonna do. Okay, so we got, it's, it's half, this is half of a rabbit. You got the leg, got the thigh there. This already been broken down. So you got that already, see? So all we're gonna do with this, I'm gonna dry, I'm gonna dry this off. Dry this rabbit off here. So now I'm just gonna take the uh, salt, pepper, garlic from up high, so from like way up here is how you wanna, cause it's gonna give it a little more of a spread out. There we go. Nice little dusting, get that rosemary on there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the uh, the cast iron skillet, I'm gonna sear this off and um, get the butter out. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna get the vegetables cut up. Okay, so I'm using the precision induction cooktop. I have my cast iron skillet in here. I've got it set to a medium high, which is about 385, 390. I'm gonna let this go ahead and heat up. I'm gonna put the butter in there, I'm gonna sear off the uh, rabbit. And while I do that, I'm gonna cut the vegetables. All right, while the induction cooktop's heating up, I have my, uh, here's the Weber kettle right here, 22 inch Weber kettle. Here's kind of the setup I got going, all right? So here's the here's the Dutch oven I'm gonna be putting in there. I have a couple of bricks right here on the bottom. And that's so the legs can sit on those, because if not, it goes through the, the holes of the uh, grate and it kind of sits all cattywampus. I've got a light ring of coals going around here. I'm gonna be putting 12 in the middle and it's gonna be igniting, hopefully. That's what I got planned. The coals will ignite these, these, and these, and it's gonna hopefully gonna burn kind of even around. And then on top of the Dutch oven, I'm gonna be putting probably about 22 around the lid here to keep it hot and to give it, get it probably about 375, 350. That's kind of my goal. Next is to get the coals lit. All right, just flip the rabbit. There we go. So it looks like, up a couple minutes. All this was cut up. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some uh, olive oil in there. Put some of that salt, pepper, garlic, so salt, pepper, garlic, and rosemary in there. Season that from a pie. There we go. And gotta put some, some thyme in there, some dry thyme. 
Gonna come in here, gonna mix it around with our hands. There you go. Get it all good and incorporated, mixed in. Right, I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna put the add the rabbit in here. All right, something to keep in mind. This is usually done with one whole rabbit. I only have a half a rabbit. So uh, to just keep that in mind. And uh, pretty much these vegetables, it, that would be fine for a whole rabbit as well. Let's look how the uh, rabbit looks. All right, let's look at the rabbit. Oh, that was divine. Look at that up. Bam. Rabbit. Right, here we go. So I'm going to add 12 to the bottom and then 22 on top. There are 13. I'll do, I'll do 13. To kind of spread that a little bit. Okay, so you get the concept. Making sure all the legs are sitting on the bricks. Looks like we've got some pretty good success. All right, now it's time to put the rest of them on top. And just so you know, that's probably all the coals I'm gonna add them. I'm not probably gonna add any more. I'm just gonna let those sit right there like the way it is. Just let this sit there and cook. And hopefully the coals around here, the, the coals around the, the base here, are gonna ignite all the way around. And uh, it's gonna work out the way I have planned. All right, so it's been right about an hour. I went ahead and put the lid on here. It was getting a little, uh, getting a little bit too hot. So I had to put the lid on. So still got colds on top. These are the moments that you wish that there was smell-o-vision. Trust me, this is so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm going to turn it half a turn. As long as it, there we go. Yeah, just get the legs on there. So far, my plan down here, let's see if I can show you. Didn't look down here. So right down here, it is starting to burn the way that I was hoping it was going to. So, so far so good. I like this. Starting to come out here, it's starting to burn that way and that way. Over on that side, the same way. So uh, going pretty good so far. Actually, I'm gonna take the lid off here, see what everything looks like inside. Oh yeah. That is awesome. <clears throat> I'm gonna check back about another half hour, and when I do, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and mix everything up, mix the, um, the rabbit and everything inside there. But right now, everything's going according to plan, everything's going exactly the way that I had envisioned, and it's going good. All right, so it's been another, uh, another half hour, so it's been about an hour and a half. Coals are burning really good. Oh, that is looking gorgeous. I mix this stuff up. See how this is coming along. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. All right, gonna let it keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more uh, chicken broth to there, because it uh, looks like it's kind of gone down a lot. Just a little bit more. I only did about a quarter more box. And uh, the coals down here are burning perfect. Definitely a great uh, thing that I'm doing here. All right, y'all, so if you guys like me doing these Dutch oven cooks, I used to do them before, I used to do them all the time. I kind of got away from it. I love Dutch oven cooking, it's a lot of fun. If you want to see me do some more exotic type of meat, let me know, or you can send me some. Just email me, uh, email will be in my about page. You can email me or just send me some exotic type of meat. Um, I would really like to get a rattlesnake. I'd really like to make y'all, cook y'all a rattlesnake because rattlesnake is phenomenal. But the last time I checked on rattlesnake, it was $150 a pound. Now, I can't afford that. If y'all wanna like to see some more Dutch oven cooking, let me know. I'll start trying to work it in to the mix a little bit more. But right now this thing is, it's, I hate using this word because a really annoying person uses this word and he has just completely used it to where it's just, I hate the word and it's annoying, but this is smelling glorious absolutely glorious 
All right, so this is how you can tell if you're, um, it's, been a, it's been about 15 more minutes later. So it's been about an hour, 45 minutes. This is how you can tell if, you're, uh, if your uh, rabbit is done yet. If you put your fork in there and you twist it, it'll come right off, like come like real easy. See how, see how it's not, see? It's not, it's not done yet, it's still got a little bit longer to go. It should just come right apart. See, you twist it, twist your fork. See how it's still not releasing? You want it to release. Still got a little bit longer to go. All right, so we're right at the two hour mark. Go ahead and check this. It is done. See how it pulls right off? See this? See that? See how it comes right off? I don't know if you can see that. And the bone's kind of like popping out. See how it's done. Ooh. Really delicate and light now. Boom, perfect. All right, gonna remove this and we'll let it rest a little bit. Let it cool down. Then I'm gonna do the, do the taste test. And uh, here's the amount of coals I used, so it called it almost perfect. Uh, it burned all the way around. That worked out absolutely picture perfect. That's exactly how I had it. Very uh, few coals are left. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna choke the uh, oxygen off and, and save whatever is left. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Uh, that looks phenomenal. And just enough juice in there. I'm a meat and potato kind of guy. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the leg, put that in there. Get some of this, uh, some of this potatoes, some of this stuff right here, and some of that juice, carrot, celery. Yeah, take a look at that. My wife's saying we don't eat pets. Well, maybe she doesn't. I most certainly will. There we go. All right, y'all. Let's uh, try some of that rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bunnies. My wife says that we don't eat bunnies. <laughs> well, she doesn't eat bunnies. I will certainly eat bunnies. So, since she doesn't eat rabbit, it means more rabbit for me. <laughs> They're too cute. <laughs> I love this. You don't eat bunnies. They're too cute. So, this is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to put in here to chop up uh, four cloves of some garlic. Completely forgot, but I had it by season enough with some salt, pepper, garlic that it really isn't that big of a deal. Uh, about however that is something I did forget. I just realized at the very end. I forgot to put in four cloves of, gar of garlic. Money. But mm. <laughs> This is good You're That is simple that is good that is delicious that is amazing that is meat tastic that is everything Anyhow, y'all try this recipe. Just for, remember to put garlic in, or if you don't want to use four cloves of garlic, you can probably put like a tablespoon of like some granulated garlic in there, and you'll be good. However, there is a, uh, some garlic in there because I did season everything with the SPG and rosemary. So there's a lot of flavor. It's packed full of flavor. This is simple. This is good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao.